Good morning, my name is Destiny, otherwise known as Decent Crochet, and I am finally going to start working on the tulips. I know I said that I was going to work on them last night, but for some reason I forgot that editing a video actually takes time, and um, the video is automatically edited as soon as you press the stop recording button. But it's fine. There was a little bit of a mess up with last week's video because when I went to bed, it was already very late, but apparently the video wasn't finished uploading, and so when I woke up a little before 8, I had to re-upload it. It ended up fine. The video is now up, obviously. <laughs> and I'm pretending like it's not the same morning where I found that out. But like I said, I am going to be using these colors and I'm going to make at least one of each color for a tulip so that way I can start putting these together, one of each of the roses, and then the two colors of lavender that I decided to do. So I'm running into a bit of an issue. Um, this thing took nearly 30 minutes. Just this, not even putting the stuff in or closing it up and whatever. Now this is no hate to the person who makes the pattern. I am not sure if it's because I am still getting used to this or if it's just because it's a lot of rows of single crochet and that just takes me forever. But I don't really want to, one, have use a pattern that's going to take me forever. And so what I think I'm going to do is I am going to just mess around and figure out what pattern works best for me. I want to try and get it to like 20 minutes um, because I don't think I'm changing the speed at which I crochet like even with the roses or lavender like the lavender I feel like I get that done quick and since it's taking a little bit <laughs> I haven't gotten to putting them together but it's okay I you know still have time um, I'll figure out the pattern for this and I'll still make the colors one of each for right now and I will try and make like just the little flyers that I had mentioned I wanted to make and the photos will have to be another day it's fine still time over three weeks actually so I will update y'all once I get that figured out and we'll see how much progress I've made I apologize if this audio is a little nasally just because I did wake up with a little bit of a stuffed nose and I had been at the library which is across campus and so the weather isn't great, allergies are messed up, sorry. I was able to figure out the tulip pattern and they are a little on the small side but I think they will do just fine. So I have the light purple, the light blue, and the light pink and yellow. I wasn't too sure about these colors just because, you know, Valentine's Day sale. Maybe I should just do pinks. Um, maybe do like this one and this one. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, in an ideal world, I would be able to make a lot of different roses and a lot of different tulips and a lot of different colors. But we are not in... Which one was which? We are not in an ideal world right now. I have already put together a, the flyers, like the big one and the small one. Small ones, I have to work on it a little bit, add like my Venmo um, and like a notes on the bottom of the photos with the colors that I have available because I have the dark-ish red roses, the reddish orange, the white roses, and then the pink. And also, I'm gonna make a dusty rose of this color with the pink rose right now because uh, this one, like I said before, is in between the two pinks that I had and I want it to, you know, be right. But if someone orders pinks, if they, they're gonna get those first. Because I have, like, an idea for the bundle, so, like, each one, the rose, tulip, and lavender are gonna be $8 each. But I'm debating between doing, calling the, like, what I'm calling the bundles. So if someone orders three, <laughs> I don't know if I should call it the third wheel or a love triangle. Um, and then if they buy three, it'll be like $3 off, so a dollar off each, which 
which is like the you know save the most option and then for two i don't know if i want to do the perfect couple or one true pair and then that would just be uh, 50 cents off each flower so it would be a dollar off i think it's super cute and another thing i wanted to show y'all was this <laughs> look i finished i finished one but i think it came out super cute um and you know if i need to i can push the flower up a little bit it just kind of depends but yeah this is what the the single one would look like it's got some little twine on the bottom there which I will not again, but right now, since I was testing it, it's just like a single, single little bow. And I also have a lavender, which I was about to work on. <laughs> and then, you know, doing these other ones, gonna try and put them together. I do have a meeting later, so I will have to do that. But yeah, I think this is coming out super great. I have a little over three weeks still, and so that's why I was trying to hurry up on the flyer. And so once I put these together and take some photos, I think I'm just gonna do like my wall as the backdrop rather than like the greenery and all that just because I think it might be a little too busy on the flyer. I for the photos too I am going to put some together for like the bundle packages so like I'll do a lavender and then a white rose and a purple tulip um just so people can kind of get an idea of like what I do what they can do with each like type of flower um i'm hoping it goes well for the first time i'm you know doing something like this and i'm just i'm super excited <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna do well um i don't know if it's gonna do poorly my mind is going both ways <laughs> every time i think about it but you know i'm putting myself out there i'm i'm trying i'm gonna do it and just i'm super excited <laughs> Hey y'all, so I was going to go outside and take some photos because my flowers are put together and I was going to take photos of them as singles, um, the pair and then the like triple bundle. <laughs> and as soon as I step outside, it's I can feel it sprinkling and for a second I'm thinking, there's no way because it wasn't in the weather. And there was absolutely zero sun, but I was still like, maybe, just maybe the photos will still look okay. And then it starts sprinkling more. <laughs> and so I have to run around the side of my building to the back door and just hope that it doesn't start raining even more and it doesn't ruin what I have. So these are the roses. Um, I could, you know, hold it a little better. See, those are super cute. Um, so this is what it will look like if someone purchases a single either rose or a tulip or lavender or whatever and then let me grab the other ones this one is a little different i think like the way it's put together because for this one you can't really see the green in there um and so i was trying to push it apart but i'm not too sure if anyone would buy like two lavender um if it is two lavender i'll probably make this a little smaller um, so you can see more of the flower and it's not just like engulfed in brown paper, but I think this is, this is the same size as the other paper, I think. And so that would be good for two flowers depending on whatever people want to get. So, can't really tell <laughs> if my lighting is working. There we go. Now this last one. I think, I'm gonna be honest, I think the triples will be the prettiest of the bunch. So these are the three tulips colors that I have. Um, I forgot to mention, I did also decide to change what colors I was doing. That's why there was an extra rose color and less tulip colors now. You can kind of barely see the pink in this one. It's my light pink. It looks different in person than it does on the camera right now, but I still think it's pretty cute. And then say someone wanted to mix and match their flowers, I have some ideas for how they can do that as well. If I can remember how I was gonna place them. So kind of like this, you, you, you get the vibes, right? 
they'll get placed in there when I put them together so it won't look so, I guess, like, falling. <laughs> but yeah. Very cute. And then another idea I had for the pairs would be something like this. The paper doesn't really work in my favor when I'm trying to show these off like this, but, you know, some bright colors. Again, it looks different in person, but also the, the weather and lighting is not working in my favor. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my living room because it has a bigger window and I'll take my lamp or something so that way I can get a little bit more lighting. And I'll take some photos of these up against, like, the white wall. Um... If that's like, like if I can't get photos outside with all the greenery, I might just uh, remove the background of the photos and put them on the flyer like that. That might be a little better than just putting like big photos, but we gotta see. I'm gonna try and finish this today. Um, I think the flyers are finished. I'm not really sure what else to add. I think I have everything, but I'm gonna have a friend review it. And then I am going to try and have them printed either tonight or tomorrow. And then I'm putting them up tomorrow when I get back from field work. I, I kind of want to laminate them because I know the week is going to be really rainy. And it's going to be up for a couple weeks. And plus it's not my laminated paper, it's the school's. Um, so that'll be fine. We'll see. But um, I already was unable to go to a little event. It was just donuts, but um, I am meeting my friend in less than an hour, so let me see what I can get done. And then I will update y'all, show you the fl fl flyer later, <laughs> and yeah. Hey y'all, I hope your Thursday is going swimmingly so far. I am currently working on an order. Very exciting. Um, I say working on instead of, you know, putting together one or... Um, you know, anything like that because I had only take, made one of each for like the tulips at least and one of the lavender and so funnily enough, I have already made, I've already completed a couple of orders and you know, sent them on their way or just have them ready to go but someone saw one of the orders I made, like I put together today and they were like, can I have the exact same thing? <laughs> Which you know is great. It's the uh, bouquet with white, oh, it's a white rose, both lavenders, and then a purple tulip. And I still have to wrap this, but I'm working on the tulip right now. I've been super like excited, super pumped, just because I went and put the flyers up today, and I was putting out those little quarter sheets, and... <laughs> I did that for like 30 minutes and then I went to go to the library to study and you know do my work but I was just you know my mind was elsewhere and then people started following my Instagram and so I started panicking a little bit because I was like oh my gosh exciting but I hadn't posted the flowers yet and so I quickly made a post with each of the flowers that I offered and then after lunch I made another post with how to order and the price sheet and things like that. Now typically I wouldn't usually try and finish a person's order and get it to them the same day but since I had made, I did give someone their order <laughs> like 10-15 minutes after they got it because it was, you know, it was all put together but the person is in the same office, like their co-workers and so I already had, you know, a white rose and a light lavender, so all I had to do was put them on their stems and then make a dark lavender at the tulip. And I don't have class until 4, it's 2.30 now. I've been doing this for about an hour. And that's all the orders that I'm, you know, like gonna work on right now because I still have to finish some other assignments, some readings. Since when I was in the library, people decided to turn it into social hour and I was working on, you know, crochet stuff. But yeah, I'm just, I'm super pumped. I've gotten four orders so far and a few follows on my Instagram. And next steps are, you know, making more so that way they're actually prepped and I'm not trying to rush. 
um, probably over the weekend, and then making, taking more photos and posting those on my stories. After this one though, and after I wrap it and send it over, I have to go, well not go, I have to finish a reading for before class and do some things like that. So I probably won't work on anything until after my class since I have to do some RA stuff too, or during my break. I'll put up some of the posts that I made from my Instagram on here so y'all can see them. And um, I took photos of where I put the flyers up around campus. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the flyer and like make it bigger so they can see the flyer. But in the photo, I took it a little bit further away. So that way I can draw an arrow and be like, it's next to this building and you know, the major uh, like statues and major like pinpoints of campus. I've already talked to a couple people about it and one person suggested that next time I make an order form, which would have been very helpful, but my roommate, who is an absolute sweetheart, um, but she made an Excel sheet for me so that way I can track my orders and, you know, check if the person's paid or if I've delivered them, things like that. And that's been really helpful because lately I have had so much on my mind and it's nice to just have something to help me stay a little bit more organized. And then my friend's birthday is on Monday. Uh, the person who I made the cat tapestry for. And so this weekend we gotta get a bag, um, some tissue paper and a card. And then I'm thinking of going and putting like a happy birthday sign on her office since she does work on campus. I also have some people who have told me they are planning on ordering and that they just need to, you know, talk to their partners or one person is just gonna wait and they said they're gonna see what I have left, but I'll, I'll make them whatever they want. They're like one of my really close friends. They're just being super sweet. One other person had said that I should try and do a crochet lays for our graduation coming up in May. And I like the idea of that. I've never done anything like that. I was still thinking maybe like the bouquets um, we will have to see because I'm gonna be honest, I did not think people were gonna order more than three flowers and it seems right now the most popular like bundle is this one <laughs> with the white rose, light purple tulip, and then the tooth lavender. Granted, two people have ordered it so it's not like a, like I guess I shouldn't really say like it's the most popular one. Um, someone else did order one of each rose which I thought was <laughs> like crazy, but um, yeah, I guess, you know, people on this campus really like crochet flowers, which is awesome for me. Um, and I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I've just been smiling a lot all day. I just, I'm super excited. I love this. And I have other things going on like with my program and with field work that my mind has been has been racing with that as well. So I got a lot going on, a lot of good things. <laughs> and it was funny, I we were eating lunch and I got a fortune and it was like, your aspirations are like coming true soon or like your, you know, like your hard work will pay off or something like that. And I was just like, damn straight. <laughs> Alright y'all, I finally finished this one. It has the two lavender, the white rose, and the light purple tulip, and the cute little bow, and I just need to write my little Valentine's Day message on the little heart notes that I had got. Pretty cute, they're from Daiso. And then I gotta do some schoolwork, and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do later tonight. It is finally Friday. And it has been a very long week as per usual, but I have a lot of exciting things happening as you've seen. <laughs> I am currently working on an order at the moment. I have gotten two more since yesterday. I got, well, I got two today. And so what I am going to do is work on these a little bit right now and I will be putting together the ones that I already have pre-made, um, like all of them, hopefully, and that way 
maybe I can try and get a jump on these as well this weekend. Um, I do have other assignments that I need to be worried about, <clears throat> but I got back from field work not too long ago, so I wanted to slow things down a little bit, crochet, and um, yeah, so I will set up my hot glue gun, get my sticks, get my <laughs> green yarn, and I'll put as many as I can together. And I think that's a pretty good way to end the week. Um, it's been going great so far. I have gotten a few more people following me on Instagram. And yeah, a lot of people actually have been wanting bundles of four. One person even ordered a bundle of five, like one of each color rose. That was pretty cool. So I hope you have enjoyed this week's video and I will see y'all next week. Bye, everybody.